Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your mid-month reading. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all of your love and support. I appreciate you. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. We're going to see what's going on for you for the second half of April, what you should look out for, be aware of what's coming your way, and anything else that you may need to know. Um, you've come to the right place, Scorpio. If this reading helps or resonates, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info's in the description box. And yeah, let's get into this reading, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for you. Messages for Scorpio, Summer Rising Venus for the second half of April 2023. What's going on for Scorpio? Show me clearly. Okay, okay, we got the raccoon coming out. Come out of hiding, Scorpio. Time to shine. Raccoon is a little bit of like a nervous energy. You have such potential, but it's almost like you're sleeping on yourself or you're like holding yourself back or it's like you're there's something that's like lurking in the shadows. Maybe there's something like secrets that might be getting exposed. We have the eclipse on Wednesday. If you're watching this reading on Monday, when I upload this on Monday, we have the eclipse in Aries, the solar eclipse in Aries on Wednesday. Pretty interesting vibes, pretty interesting energy. And wow, this is like super quiet. Nothing else is wanting to come out. Raccoon, hmm, what's going on for Scorpio? It's like you guys are quiet. You might be feeling more. Oh, um, do I want to take that? I think so. I think so. We're going to take that. Okay. We have the dragonfly. We have the shark. Mm. And the eagle. You guys. Do you, okay, second half of April, there's going to be some interesting shifts taking place. We have the eagle coming out, divine orchestration, significant changes to the storyline that you're living. Wherever you're at in your journey, whoever's part of the, you know, whoever's part of your day-to-day -day life or your day-to-day -day routine or the people that you are meeting around this time or may come into your life, this is really significant. The ego comes out when it's just like there's significant changes taking place that there are, even if it right now it might not seem that big of a deal, but it's like the events that are about to unfold are going to play a significant role for literally the next six months, especially since we have this eclipse energy upon us. So this ego energy comes out when you're beginning a new cycle, you're being thrown into a new cycle a new chapter a new endeavor like this is a brand new beginning this is divine orchestration and it's just like it's some big shit <laughs> okay and it's interesting how like i said we started off with the raccoon in your reading which is kind of like this shy nervous kind of like in the dark like this is kind of like the shadowy side of you scorpio where maybe you're really feeling this eclipse energy and you're like doing a lot of shadow work doing a lot of reflection doing a lot of just kind of healing keeping to yourself laying low you're kind of just lurking in the shadows um maybe you're feeling more tired more lethargic or just like low energy um, or just kind of keeping to yourself, right? There's this vibe where it's just like, don't look at me, don't notice me, unless like, I want to be seen. It's like, there's something about you kind of wanting to like, not be seen or just like, there's something that's also like lurking in the shadows or like lurking in the darkness. This kind of is giving like a secretive vibe or like information that hasn't come to light. And that's interesting because we have the dragonfly that came out after that, which tells me that in these next couple of weeks, information is going to be revealed to you and your perspective, your emotions on a situation, how you feel about a situation or multiple situations, it's going to completely change or information that gets revealed to you. And I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if it's around this eclipse in the Aries, right? Because um, eclipses really be bringing shit to light, illumination. OK, so wouldn't surprise me if you get some sort of information or some sort of clarity or you're going to be having some sort of breakthrough if you're f feeling like confused or there's like cloudiness or you're just not quite sure about something you're going to be getting answers in the next couple of weeks answers are going to be coming towards you and this is what's creating this big old change and then with the shark coming out which have you guys had the shark come out a lot lately or i know this for a certain sign i can't remember who it was maybe it's you uh, i can't remember maybe you do if you tune in regularly but the shark comes out when there's like something that's like again lurking in the shadows lurking in the depths in this dark water and it's something that's like 
about to come to light. Now, this card comes out when you're needing to be honest or there's a need for some sort of discussion. Same with the dragonfly. There could be some sort of like important conversation that you have that brings clarity, maybe a chance for you to speak your truth or like get some things off your chest or like address some things, something that's been kind of like hiding. All right. Um, yeah. And like this is something that's been like reoccurring or like this is something like you've been here before. There's like a familiar feeling with the shark. Um, and so there's going to be a breakthrough that you experience in the next couple of weeks. There's going to be a massive breakthrough. Your perspective on something is shifting. You're seeing something more clearly. Something's being illuminated. OK, so I kind of feel like there's something about like secrets or like mystery or like you know magic and mystery like it's very i don't know it's interesting it feels oh wow the hawk at the bottom this is very just feels eclipsy right it feels eclipsy hawk lizard see how like the lizard he's like blending in right there's something that's like blending in or trying not to be seen or trying not to be noticed and it's just like too bad so sad uh you're about to be spotted or something is about to be like brought to the surface it's interesting scorpio let's get into this let's see what's happening for you for the second half of april 2023 what's going on for scorpio what do my scorpios need to know or be aware of you have a lot of like air showing up so far so like a lot of like mental stuff lots of thinking and also like talking what's being said versus what isn't reading between like the lines What's going on for Scorpio for the second half of April 2023? Okay. Ooh, wow. So we have the sun. We have the queen of wands. We have the six of swords falling out. You could be dealing with a Leo. Give me one more for Scorpio for the second half of April 2023. What do my Scorpios need to know or be aware of? Thank you. Okay, they gave me two extras. Two of Pentacles and also the King of Cups. That fell on top of the, the sun, so I'm going to keep that there. We have the Chariot Reverse at the bottom with the Nine of Cups, Three of Cups, and Three of Pentacles. And there's your energy, Scorpio, with death. So you might be seeing a bunch of threes. We have nines out here. We have sixes, so three, six, nine. <laughs> Girls want to drink wine. Like, <laughs> okay. So you have a decision to make or you're weighing out something scorpio you're weighing out your emotions you're weighing out about how you feel about a situation a person you're trying to figure out what's the right path here and with the king of cups paired with the two of pentacles you're intuitively trying to figure out what's going to be the best choice or what's the best option you're trying to you really need to follow your gut here you really need to follow your instincts you need to follow your heart as well you have to choose the path that makes you the happiest since the two of pentacles and the king of cups fell on top of the sun it's like you gotta whatever pentacle or whatever that you're juggling whatever one makes you the most happiest that makes you feel alive inside that's the one that you gotta choose that's the road you gotta go down okay so yeah um and also eclipse energy right the sun solar eclipse that might be illuminating this information that helps you make this decision or helps you really like get clarity that your intuition is like guiding you a certain path or guiding you to take some sort of action i do see you getting out of your comfort zone so we have the queen of wands out here the next set the next uh, couple of weeks second half of april you're showing up very loving very consistent very joyful you have a really good attitude you know people are drawn to your energy you might be way more extroverted or just like more like socializing and mingling with people and connecting with others and just like this would be a great time to like put yourself out there um and you'll be just really well received like people will just be like drawn to your loving caring bubbly and enthusiasm like you're feeling enthusiastic about something or just like again like you just have like this really positive vibe that <laughs> you're showing up in the world and how people are seeing you um you know, you might be more drawn to nature, animals, your creativity. You might be feeling way more um, inspired, you know? This would be a great time to, like, start new endeavors or start new projects or, like, really just get in that creation mode. Um, but, yeah, you're showing up very attractive here. You're showing up mentally and emotionally stable. It's just, like, so far, 
second half of april is like going pretty good and then we have the six of swords which is like yeah this is like moving away from the stress moving away from any chaos conflict drama confusion you're leaving that behind <laughs> um if you were dealing with any like drama or arguing I, I see things are smoothing out for you and just like things are calming down things are getting more settled and you just have like a clear sense of direction of where you're going and what's the next couple of weeks like you kind of have like a plan or you would benefit from coming out with like some sort of plan um but yeah it's like there's something about you needing to also like step out of your comfort zone or like come out of hiding or come out of the shadows here with the raccoon so all right at the bottom of the deck we have the chariot reverse this is cancerian energy you might have cancer in your chart it could be dealing with the cancer you have mars and cancer so even speaking about mars and cancer you might notice that like your motivation kind of is fluctuating like some days you're feeling driven you're feeling motivated you're feeling inspired you're like go 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 and then other days you might be like I have no freaking energy or no motivation or no inspiration. Like, ugh. like even doing the most simplest little tasks might just be impossible or might just feel very challenging. Um, there might be moments in the second half of April where you have some doubts or you have some moments where you're like kind of feeling a little bit lost with the direction or things might be feeling a bit more slower or feeling a bit more of this resistance here. <sighs> That's where you got to just stay consistent and re remember what you want. Remember what your focus is. Um, to, like, like, don't lose track. Don't lose your focus. This chariot reverse sometimes talks about delays. You might have little setbacks or there might be little things that pop up that like redirect you or push you in a different direction. So just have faith that it's like leading you to what you want. <laughs> like just have faith that it's just like divine orchestration, which eagle divine orchestration so there might be the next couple of weeks there might and we have mercury going retrograde at the end of april we're in the pre-shadow of that so even if you have traveling plans um just double triple check there may be some delays about that even just like issues with communication um maybe car troubles for some of you <laughs> so if you've been like holding off from like taking your car to the shop or like getting some sort of repair you might want to do with that now rather than when we're in the smack dab full on mercury retrograde i think that's like the 21st do you have enough time for that hopefully <laughs> some of you is like if you can get it done dealt, dealt with this week if you can that's for somebody anyways um yeah you have some sort of wish fulfillment but nine of cups of the charity verse it's almost like you could be doubtful or skeptical or maybe this is just talked about some delays or something just moving a lot slower than you had in mind you're still gonna get there it just might take a few extra steps or there might be a few things that pop up that you gotta deal with some loose ends but you guys i see that these next few weeks you're feeling really joyful. There's a lot of fun, uplifting opportunities to be around friends, family. There's something that you could be celebrating or there might be some sort of good news or you're just feeling really lighthearted and you're just feeling very joyful. You're appreciating the good energy. You're just like in this good vibe. Like nothing can kill your energy. Nothing can kill your vibe. It's that, that Kendrick Lamar song, bitch don't kill my vibe, right? You're like, <laughs> you're in a great mood. You're in a great zone and like, you're just loving where you're going. You're loving the changes. You're making three of pentacles to death. It's like you're making changes, small, subtle changes that make a huge difference. Even like time management, changes to your health, changes to just the way that you approach life or your routines. Like I'm seeing like you're making just positive improvements in your day to day life and it just makes you feel good. And you just you're right on track, Scorpio. These next couple of weeks, you're just right on track. You know, some of you, there could be changes to your work. There might be some sort of adjustment or leveling up or like gaining some sort of there's a lot of learning that's taking place and there's also collaboration here meeting people who have similar interests similar goals definitely seeing you reuniting with people who whether old friends or uniting with like old souls or like <laughs> like you might be meeting new people but it's like they have this familiar kind of vibe or it's just like you feel like you've known them or just like you instantly click like i definitely am seeing that as well um you guys like it's just nice energy okay so we have cancer we have scorpio we got leo out here um yeah so let's do a little bit of clarifying let's get a little bit detail let's see what this choice could be about what you're trying to decide what you should know about that maybe what this clarity is 
maybe what's changing, get a little bit more specific, maybe look into the chariot. We'll see how we are with the time. But so far, we got like plenty of time. So let me look into, do I want to use this deck? Yeah, sure, why not? It's been a while. So let me look into this two of pentacles for Scorpio. Scorpio has a decision. Can we get a little bit more insight about what this choice could be for Scorpio in the month of April 2023? What is this decision? Tell me this two of pentacles for Scorpio. You might be juggling a lot too the second half of April. Like you just have a lot on your plate. So you're trying to just like juggle a bunch of stuff. You can't continue to just keep juggling though. You gotta eventually like, cause sooner or later you might drop one of these things that you're like juggling so much. You got so much on your plate. It's like you gotta, that needs to kind of come to an end or we have the world at the bottom. So it's just like that you can't continue to juggle forever, right? All right, tell about this two of pentacles for Scorpio. Why is the two of pentacles here? We have the Knight of Wands. Look, we got a stack. Five of Swords reverse, Page of Cups reverse, Ten of Swords reverse. Ooh! Ten of Wands reverse, Temperance reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune. So there's some... Okay, let's... Let me... Picking up, like, there's two situations here. This I'm getting a couple things from this. First of all, Spirit says that you gotta release some shit. Or Ten of Wands reverse. Kind of going back to what I was saying. It's like you might be juggling a lot, taking on a lot, taking on more than you can handle. That might be exhausting. And some of you are needing to like lower down your options or like take on less if you can. Like don't be just saying yes, 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 yes to everybody and everybody and like, you know stressing yourself out to the point of exhaustion. Like know your limits, know your boundaries, set your boundaries, right? Um, there is something that you gotta work on releasing things that are like making you out of balance here with temperance reverse things that are throwing you out of balance too much of anything can be bad right apple a day keeps the doctor away great but like you know if you have more that's overdoing it so like spirit is saying don't overdo it however that applies whether it's like a relationship don't overdo it think about it like this if you plant a seed you got to just give it a little bit of water, a little bit of sun, just like a moderation. If you overwater the seed, that's going to kill it. So don't overdo it, right? Don't underwater it either. Like if you got a plant, if you don't water it, it's going to die. But if you overwater it, it's going to drown, root rot, you're going to kill it. So like don't overdo it, Scorpio. Whatever you're doing in April in all realms, just don't overdo it. If you're exercising, if you're working out, amazing. But don't push yourself and overdo it where you injure yourself or, you know, um, <sighs> you get one yeah i don't need to go on with ex examples you get it just don't overdo it <laughs> find the balance right and that's the two of pentacles find the freaking balance even sun right you're getting sun on your skin amazing love that for you but don't overdo it you get sunstroke or you get cancer skin cancer get your sunscreen scorpio if you're soaking up the sun don't forget the sunscreen and don't forget the neck <laughs> right <laughs> um shit like that taking vitamins great just don't over it's okay you get it you get it don't overdo it <laughs> now um this knight of wands this is really you feeling that drive feeling that motivation accomplishing a lot you're just bouncing from one thing to another to another to another like you're just hopscotch like <laughs> hopscotch you know like that children game why did that come to mind hopscotch yeah yeah like you roll a is it a dice or something i don't remember man that's like bringing shit up from my archives childhood you like roll a dice and like you you can like skip a few hmm something about you maybe skipping a few steps or like what's up with that don't hmm if you could skip a few steps cool but like don't miss the important steps because sometimes shortcuts are not shortcuts at all you think it's a shortcut temporarily you're like yeah it's a shortcut but actually no you gotta go back and redo something it's just that's another message okay now we have the ten of swords reverse page of cups reverse five of swords reverse um there was a this is a specific or side story or sideline or like a different group or like this is a different different message there's some sort of ending that took place. It's over. It's done with. This is talking about some shit from the past, okay? Page of Cups reverse. This is an ending you experience with, like, a in a relationship. Some sort of connection. 
no communication, nada, none of that. You might be not on speaking terms with somebody. We do have the five of swords reverse indicating like there's healing. You're healing from this ending. Sometimes a five of swords reverse can talk about apologies or opportunity for like closure or like speaking your truth bringing fairness into a situation so i didn't mention that earlier right i think i did where it's just like you might have some important conversations coming up or there might be the opportunity to like get something off your chest or like speak up or address something um so there could be about a situation like that where you're going to be getting clarity or like there's healing taking place there's some sort of releasing maybe you're kind of like caught up in a situation you're trying to weigh out how do i handle this do i just move on do i say something do i reach out do i not do i just leave it in the past like so that's where you gotta follow your heart you gotta follow your intuition that's what you gotta you gotta figure out what's gonna be best for you scorpio what's gonna bring you the most peace okay so that's just like a side message what else should we look into okay um let me take a look into this chariot reverse so there's like delays here or what like what do we need to know about this chariot reverse for scorpio almost kind of like if you take your foot off the gas pedal things just move for you a lot easier kind of like me saying earlier don't overdo it or don't force something some of you are just like take your foot off the gas pedal and just kind of like you know, like when you're on a bike and you're pedaling and pedaling and pedaling, 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 it's like you don't have to pedal so much. Like, just let the wheels take you to where you're supposed to be. Like, don't overdo it. Again, that's the message coming through strongly in this reading. So, talk about the chariot reverse for Scorpio. What do we got? Two of cups. For some, you're taking a break from a relationship, or maybe there's distance, or there's some space here. Maybe you're two. Let me get some more on this king of swords you're detaching could be dealing with an aquarius or air sign kind of the chariot two of pentacles we go in full circle y'all page of pentacles reversed i'm seeing like there's something about rejection here or like turning something down yeah okay let's see <clears throat> so it seems like in the second half of april something's like at a standstill or backtracking or there's like no movement maybe there's no movement in a relationship um with the two of cups it's like there's someone's on pause or someone's on standstill or with the king of swords to the two of cups it's like someone's being like heavily analytical here about a relationship about a connection they're not following someone's not following their heart they're following their logic they're following their mind that's how i'm reading this someone uh, there's someone who's very serious in a relationship or some sort of connection here the reason why things are at a standstill or the reason why things aren't moving is because someone's like overthinking it um or they're like they're not following their heart they're not listening to what their heart wants and so then we have the two of pentacles and then the page of pentacles reverse where it's like going back to that two of pentacles earlier right going back and forth juggling and shit page of pentacles reverse it's like turning something down or choosing choosing the wrong one choosing the wrong is it really wrong i don't know someone's like having doubts here or like just someone's going back and forth about something like a connection or a situation here maybe somebody's juggling if you're dealing with like love maybe you're dealing with someone who's juggling or maybe you're juggling right maybe you got many options in love you're trying to figure out what's the best who's the best fit <laughs> um four of cups knight of swords ace of pentacles reverse i see someone could be like overthinking yeah look two of wands now we have a lot of twos two 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 of wands and the nine of swords like so this is somebody there's somebody here i don't know if it's you scorpio or you're dealing with someone like this but there's somebody in april who's like going back and forth or like super indecisive or someone's like in their head overthinking something someone's not following their emotions their heart they're like they're overthinking their feelings okay um and the reason why i think that there's like fear of rejection here ace of pentacles reverse knight of swords and the four of cups like yeah someone's afraid of like rejection or being turned down So that's the hang up that's a hang up here 
And so going back to that two of pentacles earlier over here, maybe so someone could have a past of like bad things happening to them or experiencing that, 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 that would be where that anxiety comes from or like the doubt or those fears. If you're dealing with a fire sign, someone who looks confident, comes across confident, but actually beneath that, beneath the surface, the shadowy side, this could even be you, Scorpio. There's like the fear of like, you know, getting hurt, rejected, something failing, um, feelings not being reciprocated. That could be a fear of someone's you or someone you're dealing with. Let's take a look into, oh my God, <laughs> the tower was at the top of the deck. So that's an adjustment here. Let's take a look into death and we got to wrap this reading up. Tell me about the death card. Why is death here for Scorpio? Yeah, it just feels kind of like there's like a mysteriousness going on. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me about death for Scorpio. This deck doesn't really want to shuffle. Oh, just kidding. GK, time of death for Scorpio. One more. Wow, really? Okay, four of wands reversed. Call it death for Scorpio. What is changing in the month of April? Ace of swords reversed. Queen of swords. You're getting to the bottom of something. You're getting answers, y'all. Page of Wands, Four of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. So see, like you've been in there. We have the Two of Swords. Now we've had like five or six twos in your reading. So you might be seeing a bunch of twos. Twos might be haunting you, Scorpio. Like what the heck is that? And then the Seven of uh, Cups underneath that. Yeah, like there's like this. You're trying to get clarity about something. It's like you're going back and forth or like feeling uncertain about something your weight it's spirit says wait for the info to be revealed to you. you will get answers soon it's just a matter of time and i feel like the answers that you end up getting or the clarity that you have this is like really positive or it's like it's whatever you're thinking like if you are trying to figure out a situation you're like kind of tied between okay it could be this or it could be that what could it be Whatever is the one that makes you the happiest or makes you feel the best, that is the outcome or that is the truth. So that's like the clarity. Like if like, for example, if you're trying to figure out, I don't know, like what could I be using as an example? I don't fucking know. My brain's not going there today. Okay. I'm like stuck in giving examples. It doesn't matter. But like, basically if you're like going back and forth between something or like trying to figure out the truth of something or like figure like whatever feels the best that's the truth or that's the clear like that is the answer not the thing that makes you feel like shit or makes you feel bad or makes you stress or anxious or none of that that's not the truth or that's not the reality or that's not how the situation is like okay does that make sense anyways so clarifying death like what's changing or what is ending in april so we have the four of wands reverse really representing like lack of stability or a bit of like a foundation that's shaky imagine like a table with three legs like if you had a table with four and then you just knocked one of them out that's it's gonna fall right so that's like something in your life that's not been stable or it's been inconsistent um and you've been lacking clarity ace of swords Right? Maybe there's been mix up in communication or just like, again, like cloudiness, cloudiness, like water where it's cloudy. You can't really see it's murky. That is what's changing. That's clarifying death. What's changing. So this murky, cloudy water where you can kind of see, but not really. That is going to change. You're going to be getting answers and clarity. This is tying into six of cups reverse, tying to something from your past. All right. So this is bringing up a. a past situation or a situation that's been kind of like affecting you on your mind even like reoccurring patterns here queen of swords you are going to get answers you're digging to the truth you're getting clarity on something and it's kind of like you like deep down you knew it right deep down you knew it or you had this sense of knowing or it's just like you're getting the freaking facts and whatever you find out or whatever this clear clarity is you're solving the mystery here it's good or like you're happy about it right because we had that nine of cups that three of pentacles and the three of cups like you're happy about it like whatever this clarity is it's like you're solving some sort of mystery scorpio and 
Lots of things kind of falling into place. Lots of questions, lots of wonders, lots of hmms and haws. What could it be? You're finding out you're going to know by the end of the month. All right. Lots of puzzle pieces are falling into place. And there's not a whole lot you need to do, but just kind of sit back, watch, observe, and follow your instincts and follow your gut. So that's your reading. I hope that this was helpful and insightful. If it was, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info's in the description box. And I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, Scorpio. Bye!